revival. Only invaded people can invade. Jesus said to the apostles, and I paraphrase, I paraphrase, don't even dare try to witness for me. Don't even dare try to invade the society. But he told them to do one thing. He said, wait in Jerusalem until you are endued with power from on high. Do I have people tonight who want to transform their world? Lift your hands to heaven. Do you, are there thirsty people tonight? Who just want to say holy ghost invade me the bible says until the spirit be poured upon us from on high and the wilderness become a fruitful field and the fruitful field becomes a forest if you are thirsty tonight just lift your hands close your eyes and tell him lord invade me invade me baptize me with the holy ghost and with fire With fire, your voice resounds like thunder. We glorify your name. I like what I know. The world with eyes of fire, your name is full of words. Come and manifest yourself. Hey, I like what I know. The world was glowed with fire. Your voice resounds like thunder. We glorify your name. Hey, and that's what I know. The world with eyes of fire. Your name is full of words. Can you just open your mouth and begin to pray in the Holy Ghost? As I worship with my trumpet, let him invade you right now. Let him invade every compartment of your life. Every place that you set aside. Say, Lord, enter into this room. Into the room of addiction. Invade that place. Those secret closets. Get in there. Clean me up. And get me ready to invade my world.
Are there people tonight who are tired of religion? Yes. Of going through the motions? Of saying things they don't mean? Of having a form of godliness and denying the power thereof? Are there people who want to demonstrate the power of God to their, their generation? You know, for many years I was in church. You can be in church, but you are not in Christ. You know, you can have great gifts, play an instrument, and sometimes people cry, but you don't even know the Lord you are talking about. So two categories of people, you are here tonight. And you want to say, Lord, I want to surrender my life to you. I go to church, I was born in church I was even born on the altar I know about Jesus but I don't really know Jesus, maybe you are like me you were in church for long but there was a time that God invaded my life and that's why by the grace of God I'm invading the world if you're here tonight and you want something beyond religion you want the Holy Ghost to invade you. You want to be born again. You want to know Jesus for yourself. At the count of three, I want you to run out. Forget the neighbor next to you. It's about you and God. I want you to run now to me. Just run wherever you are. Just come. Just come. Just come. All over this place. All over this place. All over this place. You want to surrender your life to Christ. You want to say, invade me. You want him to invade that, that room where addiction stays. Where masturbation stays. Where pornography stays. You want him to invade that place. Come on. You don't want to know about Jesus. You want to know Jesus. For these are the days of his power and the people shall be willing in the day of his power. The rest of you, can you pray in the Holy Ghost? Lift your hands and begin to cry out to God. Say, invade me. Robo bobo leba kababa o rabasha And please can I have these ones go to my right just move them to my right Move to my right this one just gently move them to my right and the second call is for Any young girl young boy who feels a fire in them And you want to say father tonight I'm born again. I've grown cold. And I know I have an assignment for my generation. I want you to baptize me with your fire again. I want you to run out and stay on my left. Remember, only invaded people can invade. Remember the seven sons of Sceva. They said in the name of Jesus Christ that Paul serves. You can't cast out a demon in the God you don't know, in the name of the God you don't know. <laughs> Holy Spirit, rain, rain down. Right now, tonight. 
Let your power fall. Let your power. Let your voice be heard. Let your voice be heard. Change as we stand on your word. Rotele Maha, Roshila Maha, Rotele Bakubaha. Let me tell you the season that we live in. I was in Jerusalem this year, and the Lord led us to go and to worship for seven nights. And when we got there, we realized it was the 50th year of Jerusalem after the reunification. So Jerusalem is celebrating 50 years this year. Jerusalem, 50 years this year. And it was a prophetic meeting. And we, the word of God came to us and we knew we had entered into a new season. And do you know that God has a plan for Nigeria? In the scheme of things, in this end time, God has a plan for Nigeria. Do you think it's an accident that Lagos is 50 this year? It's not. That's because this, this nation is an apostolic nation. And God is raising an end time prophetic and apostolic army from this nation. And guess what? I'm looking at them tonight. I'm looking at them tonight. I'm looking at them tonight. I'm looking at the people who will transform Nigeria. I'm looking at prophets, evangelists, teachers of the word who would accompany the preaching of the word with signs and wonders. So those of you on my right, I want you to lift your hands. I want you to know that you are surrendering your life. You are handing the leadership of your life to Jesus. You are telling him, invade my space. You are telling him, I take off the barriers. I open up the doors. And you say this prayer with me and believe it with your heart and you'll be saved. Say with me, Lord Jesus. Say, Lord Jesus. I come to you tonight. I believe you are the son of God. I believe you came to this earth just for me. Thank you for shedding your blood. Thank you for dying for me. Tonight, I say, invade me. Invade my space. Take over. Be the Lord of my life and use me for your glory father in the name of jesus we pray tonight in the presence of your holy angels in the presence of your people that these ones are saved in the name of jesus that the blood washes them from every sin and we declare their sins forgiven in the name of jesus lord we ask that you baptize them with your holy ghost and with fire that today will be a landmark in their lives that you would unleash these ones to the nations of the earth to further invade and share your love and grace in Jesus name amen so we we have um, agents here who would attend to you please go with them very briefly they'll take your details and you know they'll pray for you God bless you now everybody can we stand I know we're almost done those in front just lift your hands nights like this uh, you know made me places where I just came to drink so just lift your hands he feels the thirsty I know you are here here in your power I know you Precious Holy Spirit, I know you are here, here in your glory. I know you are here. Precious Holy Spirit, I know you are here, flowing like a river. I know you are here, sweet Holy Spirit. 
Spirit. I know you are here. You are here to bring revival. I know you are here. I know you are here, blazing, rolling fire. I know you are here, sweet Holy Spirit. I know you are here. You are taking to take me high. Oh, I know you are here. Now lift your hands. I'm speaking tongues. As you do that, the fire of God will fall on you. Just pray the Holy Ghost out loud. Out loud. Out loud. Out loud. Out loud. Let 
yokes be lifted. Let addictions go. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the last days, you pour out your spirit on all flesh. Your sons and daughters shall prophesy. you for invading us and now that we know that we are ready to invade the world I ask you not to leave it